Every time I have a haircut, I ask it to keep the hair, which I then take to London and scatter for the pigeons to make nests with. There we are. All right. Uh, David, what do you think? What is it that makes you think that the pigeons of London are short of hair. stuff? <laughs> to make, yeah, hair. I mean, there's just well, a lot of <laughs> nest-making stuff in London, Well, actually, surely. there isn't that much, and there has been this big drive to yeah. keep London tidy. And, Kate, yeah. do, you, do, you believe, do you believe that pigeons prefer blondes? Is that the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I think they do like curls. How do you know that? They prefer... Well, you know, I've, I've, when I scatter it... I then just sort of stand back, make sure it's appreciated, and, and you know... It, gets, it immediately gets snapped up. It does. It? <laughs> they say they go away. They There's do, somebody yeah. else feeding them some bread, and they go, oh, yeah. curly they hair. Do. Who wants a bit of old Hovis? You know, How much you of your yeah. hair do you get cut for the curl to be included? Um, it's about an inch and a half I have cut. I don't have it cut very often. Where in London do you go to to distribute your clippings? <laughs> <laughs> David, have you ever met a woman before? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that's the kind of thing you say to random strangers. It's not a thing I've ever said before, <laughs> but you can't say it isn't pertinent to the circumstances. <laughs> Do you secretly hope that, that one day a very clever pigeon would make a tiny little wig? <laughs> If he if he did, yes. what might he sound like, Richard? Because I've been told that you do a very good pig... Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it now. <laughs> That's a wood pigeon, isn't it? <laughs> and for the happiest scenarios of Birdland amongst you, not to be confused with the ring dove. <laughs> Not to be confused with the parrot. <laughs> hey! Pretty pollen? Pretty Yes, this programme is getting more and more like the one show. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I did want to ask Miles a question, if you don't mind, Miles. Um, if, if you were to do what she does, would you wash the cuttings and hand-dry them before you... <laughs> If I were to collect Kate Humble's hair <laughs> and then get on a bus... No, I'd, just, I'd go to a hairdresser and say, have you cut Kate Humble's hair? <laughs> have you? With well, that you, voice! Well, put it in a bag for me. <laughs> and then I'd catch a bus and I'd go straight to the top deck and tell everyone exactly what I had in my bag. <laughs> Who wants his spring watch? <laughs> Got a hair in my bag. <laughs> It's not for me, it's for the pigeons. <laughs> um, what do you think, David? Can I say, I, I think more of Kate Humble than this. I have a higher opinion. I think a lot of her. I mean, it's... Yeah. Oh, sorry, in that sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I think she's uh, telling us a lie. I, th I, I think, yeah, I think we all think it's a lie. You think, think it's a lie? lie. Pretty yeah. unanimous. OK, mm -hmm. Kate, mm -hmm. fact or fiction? It's a lie. <laughs> 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 Yes, it was a lie. Uh, every time Kate has a haircut, she doesn't take the hair cuttings to London to scatter to the pigeons for them to make nests with.